sat on Father Christmas's lap to the person who was sat on Father Christmas's lap, and mm. she wasn't hugely thrilled about the, uh, the the picture. I don't think, to be honest. Really? With you. Yeah. Mm. I I thought it was an epic photograph. The uh, the one with the legs. Yes. Yeah. She yes. looked. Like, I thought she looked. Well, Father Christmas looked ecstatic. Didn't he just? Yeah. <clears throat> Christmas she came was early. Definitely on the good list. <laughs> the naughty <Anyway>. list. <laughs> ho ho ho. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Christmas special. You got to do the intro as a ho 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 instead of a ho. I'll do. Uh, I'll, I'll do jingle pump, bells, and you do. And you do the pink pop pump kits. What? But you can't say it again. Popcorn you pump kits. Can I do it? Ho 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 ho. <laughs> yes, ho, yes, ho. definitely. <laughs> Let's do that. Go ready? Okay, ching, wicked. Ching, 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 ching. I forgot, I forgot. Now. Ho, ho. Oh. Oh, let's try to do that again. Okay, ready. And again. Take two. Ching, 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 ching. I, I can't, I can't we turn remember the music, it. Should we turn the music yeah, off? Yeah, let's do that. That's probably a good start. <laughs> Fucking Chris, were you? Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, ching, 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 ching. Yeah. Popcorn pundits. Podcast. Christmas special. Boom. <laughs> We're there. Hello. Hello, and welcome to this seventh episode yeah. of the Popcorn Pundits podcast. And today's date is the 14th of December. Honestly, James. Thursday. You are I'm moon, baby. Today. I'm just. I'm peaking too early. About halfway through the podcast, I'm just going to fall asleep. Finally. Yes. Pre-caffeinated. You know it. <laughs> Smashed it. Do you want to do the top ten then? <laughs> Shall we introduce what the Popcorn Pundits is first of all and introduce ourselves? Yeah, hi, I'm Peter Ungar. Hi, Peter Ungar. <laughs> Who, are Who are you? Who are you? I'm Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Hi. And I'm James Michael Mulcrone. And this is your Popcorn Pundits podcast. The seventh episode, as I've mentioned before. And we basically go to the movies, mm. watch movies at home. Yes. And we tell you what we think. Exactly. And we mark it and we project, we project our marks all over you, the listener. Yeah. And we, yes. we tend to giggle a Whether bit. Whether you want it or, or not. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It's a lot so, of hard work, this podcast, you know. It bloody is. And now we, we also <laughs> like to bring our listeners up to date with the top ten films that are reoccurring in the British Isles at the moment. So should we go straight in? Yeah. At number 10 yes. is The Peasants. I have no idea what that is. I was about to ask you all about it. Were you? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a Polish film apparently. Okay. And I haven't seen it and I don't know much about it. It literally just crept in. It did. It crept into 10. the top 10. And well, it if it stays in longer, it. we might watch it. Well, it, yeah, we might well do, but mm. it knocks Love Actually out of the top 10, James. I'm not talking to The Peasants anymore, no. <laughs> You're never going to see it ever. <laughs> nope. It's a late in a late nineteenth century Polish village. Yes. It's a hotbed of gossip and ongoing feuds held together by pride, tradition and a deep rooted patriarchy. That's what sounds I said. gripping. Um, so. Number nine. Number nine is Home Alone. Now I really want to revisit this for two reasons. Mm -hmm. One is Schitt's Creek. Yeah. <laughs> and the second reason is succession. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I've got you. You and me. Yeah, you, you. You yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Number eight. It's Elf, 20th anniversary. Possibly the best Christmas movie of all time. Well, I can't yeah. believe it's 20. But we are going to be deciding that and helping, uh, encouraging our listeners to help us find the greatest Christmas movie of all time. Absolutely. And number seven, Renaissance. Not a film, film by Beyonce. It's not a film by Beyonce. Bracket Number six, Animal. Which we're still yet to see. AA Films UK. Yeah. Mm. Uh, number five is Saltburn. Thigh rub tastic. I uh, feel like that's creeping its way back up the chart. Have, have you, like have you seen that yet? yet. Not yet. I like Take your it. tongue out of my bath. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think we've had something to Did do you say with bath? That. Yes. Yeah, I think we definitely helped. We definitely, definitely helped. Number Num four, Napoleon. That dropped, didn't it? Yeah, because it's not actually that great, is it? Mm. We didn't give it a great score. In in hindsight, it yes. wasn't as good as I thought it was when mm. we first went to see it. It's kind of it hasn't settled well. I don't think. I don't think it's going to be a classic. No. Mm. Uh, number three, the you Hunger keep Games. Promising to see this. Have uh, you seen it yet? Yeah, I, I went to see it next week. <laughs> <laughs> I went to see it tomorrow, Friday. <laughs> mm. You did it again. That's brilliant. That was good, isn't it? That was really good. I you know. Almost natural. Yeah. Number two. Uh, it's wish. Number two. <laughs> it's wish. Nearly, nearly. Yes. Um, we've Walt talked Disney. about that more than enough. Mm -hmm. And surprise, surprise, <laughs> the new straight in at number one is the film that we're going to be reviewing later on. Oompa Loompa Giddy yeah. It's just so good. Wonka. <laughs> Wonka, Wonka, Wonka. We went to see it on Sunday. 
we did yeah, you had a little hot day, the perfect you? day to see this film. Yeah, it's the perfect. It, it is a, it's a Sunday afternoon, and we went early so for us as well, it, didn't we? We did. And also, the other reason why our podcast is really, really working, Nikki, is uh-huh. because it's the first film that we've been to see that the cinema was packed. It was. I'm not surprised. And and it, so there was, I think there was like seven or eight showings through the day as well. Mm. And like looking at the actual kind of bookings through, you know, it was it was chock a block in pretty much every one. Yes. Nice. And good good luck to the cinema for it. That's what I say. Happy days. It's yes. about time we had an absolute cracker coming out. A blockbuster, put as he would say. Butts it. on the seats. But yeah. do you know why the? Do you know where the expression blockbuster came from? No, tell me, James. I'm going to tell you where the, the expression blockbuster came from. It came from one of the first screenings of, I think it was, the film Jaws, of all films. And did the block get busted? Well, it's funny you say that. that. They queued around the block? That's exactly what happened. Is it? That's oh. exactly what happened. So you, they queued around the block and they went, it's a blockbuster. Well, there we go. And that's Where's why you earned the big bucks. You busted my block, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Samuel L. Jackson, say that again. You go bust my block, man. That sort of thing. He says in the home county sort of styling. Beautiful. So. So. Wonka. Yeah. Mm. It's not a Christmas movie. But it feels weirdly Christmassy. It's kind of. Mm. It's kind it's got of like Christmas magic cinematic. inside it. Well, it's, got like, it's like a panto. I came oh, up... no, it's not. <laughs> oh, oh. You started that really early in December. That is oh, no, yeah, we didn't. shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. She's, she's behind you. Anyway, <laughs> synopsis. Just their synopsis. With dreams of opening a shop in a city renowned for its chocolate, a young man, poor Willy Wonka, discovers that the industry is run by a cartel of greedy chocoholics. Yeah. Mm. It's pretty much modern day. Yes. <laughs> Greedy chocoholic. Now, I'm so. pretty sure it said Paris in the in the text. Did it say Paris? It, in no, the text? but it depicted it as Paris, didn't it? It was, um, yeah. It was it was very very much like that with the um, the, the crystal roofed um, gastronomic centre. Yeah, the, and the, the, the cobble streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a, for for those people who know nothing about it at all. It is a um, it's a prequel to Wonka. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So it's a young Willy Wonka before he's got his factory, yep. before he's got his, his glass elevator, and before he's met Charlie. Absolutely right. Hmm. And uh, Wonka is played by Timothy Chalamet. Mm. Thoughts? I think he nailed it. Absolutely smashed it, didn't he? Literally, from his first step onto scene. Yes, he was weird enough. He wasn't too sugary, but sugary enough. Yeah. Um, did you know it was a musical? No. And when he started singing, I went, oh, this is going to be interesting. I was horrified I know when, when he started singing, simply because there are very few mm. good musical films, in my opinion. Yes. Um, this does actually go into the category of a, of a really good mm. musical film, yeah. because there was just an occasional There's song. There's a reason for that, and I'm going to come to that in a second. OK. Well, oh. There was a song probably every 10, 15 minutes, rather yes. than being like songs the whole way through. Very well-scribed songs as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely, mm. absolutely. But no, I just, I just thought that actually the songs really enhanced it, and I also agree. the fact they went back to historical songs as well, I thought was like really cute as I mean, well. I was waiting all the way through the film for the, you know... Anyway, and and, yes, and they didn't disappoint for that one. No, they really didn't. However, do you know who wrote the songs for the rest of the film? I don't. It was David Hammond. Right. Okay. No, no, Neil Hammond. Divine Comedy. Was it? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. It does, doesn't yeah, it? Because he's got the same type of tempo, he's got, he's isn't got, he? Yeah, and, and he's got a fantastic word. He, he's a word scriber, and, and he uses... And having that sort of... I mean, okay, he's from London Derry, so there's that sort of British connection, and it felt like a very British movie in that respect, I thought. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, there was definitely some good word smithery in the songs, without mm. a doubt. But yeah, no, it's... The um, scrub, scrub, scrub songs. Yeah. Yep. No, I thought, Scrubber. Yeah, I, for a musical, I thought the music in it was... Really good, love mm. it. So we, we've already highlighted that Timothy, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. Chalamet. Uh, thumbs up for him. 100%. Well done. Now, director, Paul King. Yeah. Do you know what else he's directed? Give us some history, James. The Mighty Boosh. I love The Mighty Boosh. How weird is that? Well, the, but it's not and that also weird. also Paddington. It's not actually that weird when you look at the cast. No. Because the cast is absolutely strewn with British comedy classic actors. Exactly. It's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, Tom yep. Davis is 
he is just bleacher. Oh, he's just with his so, thighs. So good, absolutely. What, what, and who knew he had such good thighs? Wow. Yeah, absolutely. But you know, I just, I just, yeah. I mean, Mrs. And, him, Mrs. And Olivia, Coleman, him and Olivia Coleman. Oh my yes. word, those two together are brilliant. I mean, brilliant. The the cast list itself is a who's who of of British and international just royalty when it comes to yeah. beautiful acting. And they've obviously all jumped in and went, yes, please. I'll have a, I'll have a dig at that. Absolutely. So and they've all done it incredibly, incredibly well. I thought the Oliver, the Oliver Colmer, the, the, the Mrs. Scribbits and the Bleacher was really, really sort of Oliver. Had that beautiful yeah, Oliver feel right. to it. And there were, there were mega, mega nods to like historical mm. films of the similar type of genre, wasn't it? I mean, there, there was so much... Um, Mary Poppins. Thank you for the words. Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins. Yeah, absolutely. Bed knobs and broomsticks. Yeah, exactly yes. right. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, sounds music. Yeah, absolutely. A spoonful of sugar. That's what, and obviously Paddington because it's steeped in that sort of Paddington there as well. Um, but none, none, none of it felt like a rip off. It all kind no. of felt like it was a it tribute was homage to homage. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. It, it's it's been, it's been categorised in a genre as an adventure comedy family. Yeah. Agreed. I'd put that, Absolutely. and I'd put magic in there as well. I mean, it's just... Magic. For, for it not being a Christmas movie, hmm. it is just the best way to start Christmas off. Yeah. It is just so, so good. Absolutely, absolutely loved it. Um, tagline. Go for it. Discover how Willie became. <laughs> I'm, I'm not quite <laughs> sure how... The... I'm glad <laughs> you said that right. <laughs> we, um, we haven't even mentioned Hugh Grant. <laughs> no! And... Who whoever came up with that idea of a casting is an absolute genius. And also, I mean, what I mean, it's, it's, it was kind of a bit like Despicable Me, wasn't it? Like you kind yes. of learnt why the Oompa Loompas yes. became attached yeah, do you know to what? Willy Wonka. That's a really good point. I, think, and, yeah, I was wondering where that the, yeah, the reference. Because like I must have historically always wondered yes. where he got the Oompa Loompas exactly. from. Exactly. And then now we kind of know where they came Ooh. from and everything. And actually, the the logic of them being um, attached to him is uh, is absolutely right. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, absolutely. He, he, he warranted it. Yeah, I mean, obviously, in the, in the Gene Wilder, the Gene Wilder, he, I think he mentions he picked them up from some some forest, a jungle somewhere abroad. Yeah, yeah, he? But there's no, there's no reference about how how he's no, done exactly, it. And so on exactly. Forth, so. But but, um, but his depiction of an umpa lumpa <laughs> is is equally grumpy and weird at the same time. And the dance and the singing and it it, it it ticks all the boxes. It really does, and it is. It, it's just a bit weird to start off watching it, isn't it? Really? Yes. Because like he does literally go into song quite soon, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah. And and yeah, it's um yeah, it's just <laughs> cleaning his pipe and you know all, it all that malarkey. Yeah, he, yeah he cleaned it's... his pipe out rather well. Brilliant. Yes, almost too quickly, I thought. So um, Simon Farnaby, who was one of the co-writers, was also in the Mighty Boosh as well, wasn't yes. he? Yeah. Yes. So yeah, yeah. There, there, there was. He's not in our building. No, he's not. <laughs> no, Noel Fielding. No. Noel Fielding would have been quite good in that, I thought. He mm. could have played some sort of. No, he'd be better as like the child catcher or something. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, oh. absolutely. Chitty bang bang. I agree. But yeah, I just thought I thought the the baddies were bad enough. I, yes. I, I thought the the reasons why they were bad was credible. I yes. just like you know there was there was nothing there was nothing in it that I thought was nonsense. It all kind of. It, even though it's a very kind of light-hearted, mm. obviously heading towards a happy ending type story, it all just worked. I just thought it was absolutely brilliant. And the, the chief of police. Oh, just so good. And just so good. I just love it when he opens up the car door and there's just like an avalanche. Yeah. And you just I'll, kind of I'll, think I'll that is absolutely goes, brilliant. It's absolutely on a Saturday brilliant. morning. <laughs> 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 and one of my favourite characters was played by um, uh, Rich uh, Fl Fluncher. Fluncher? He played Larry Chuckleworth. He was the comedian that was caught. Oh, in, yeah. yes! He was utterly. Was he one of your favourite? He was one of my favourite, mainly because he's he's got he's got such a massive role in the Mighty Boosh. I just kept looking all the way going. He's going to say something really, really out of order in a second, and you could just see him thinking it. And I think that added another dimension to it. And I think the, the credibility of having a director and the actors that have come from something that's been looked upon as slightly risque, like the yeah. Mighty Boosh and so on and so forth, and then projecting them during this family movie, I think it really added a credibility to it. To, to be fair though, James, you're not normally a fan of actors like who are normally renowned for being in one particular kind of role, doing something else altogether. That's the, the downside to Chef, apparently, was the fact that you didn't like... <laughs> 
exactly that thing that you just said that you, you really can. liked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could get swim fan. Yeah. <laughs> How can you make swim fan better? <laughs> but yeah, anyway. I mean, I, I, I feel that we need to, as a, as a group, as a, as a pundit, we need to not only talk about this film, but also really, really lay it on seat that people need to watch this at the cinema. They need to embrace the music, the, the light, the magic, everything from that screen. If you're in a bad mood, yes. if you haven't been to the cinema for a long time, mm. if you haven't managed to get into the Christmas spirit yet, yes. if you just want to see something that is going to make your life happier, funnier... Lift your soul. ...better, just yes. book a cinema ticket and go and see go this. Go by yourself. Yeah, well... Yeah, go with anyone. Just find exactly. someone in the street and go with them. You, well, you, you do. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. <laughs> but go. It is, honestly, it started Christmas off for me absolutely fantastic. Definitely. Definitely. Or Definitely. stand in the street, start singing Oompa Loompa, and whoever joins in, you can go with. I was singing it all afternoon after this. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. I really was. And it took a lot of effort not to watch the Gene Wilder version of, of, the, of the movie. And why, in the why did you not? Because I decided, no. I keep my powder dry. I'm going to leave it back, and I'm going to hold it again. So are, you, are you going to do that Star Wars thing and watch them all in chronological yeah, order? Yeah, well, I am seriously thinking about going to the cinema to go and see it again. Yeah, I think I want to go and see it again. Yeah. Do we have some ratings? Oh, I do. <laughs> do you want to go first? I'll go first. Yeah, I'm going to give it a. Uh, I'm going to give it an eight. Ooh, mm. straight eight. A straight eight. I'm giving it an eight point two. Ooh. Oh, so it's sixteen point two. Yeah, if you divide that by two. That's eight point one. My, honestly, he is on it with the I don't. Bit. I don't think this is James. I think this is I like know, a I'm standard. Would <laughs> <laughs> you like some Wonka facts? Oh, yes, please. I was going to say Willie facts, but that's probably not right, is it? Um, it has, Peter's, Peter, Peter, he's such a Wonka. It's had eight nominations and one win already. Which doesn't surprise me. Um, also, Tim was that for the Chainsaw Awards? No, <laughs> no, unfortunately, not. It's for the Michigan Movie Critics Choice uh, Critics Guild Awards. So. Um, for film excellence, it won it. Film excellence? That's a nice... Exp- that's a it's nice a, it is an excellent film. There... Ha, one thing I can say, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, actually, no, I'm going to wait until Nikki asks the question. I'm going to hold, I'm going okay. to hold back. Well, oh, before okay. Before I ask the question, mm. yes. I've got a couple of other facts for you. I'll go for it. So, it wasn't just Timothy uh, Chalamet that was up for the lead. It was between one other person. Okay. Can you guess who? Yes. I would say it was, it's, it's going to be somebody young, it's going to be something up and coming, it's going to be somebody who's a little bit, ooh. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, if it's not one of the Scars guards, I'd be very surprised because they're everywhere. It's not a Scars guard. Because I thought it might be, what's the name from It? One of the Scars guards from It, no, with the funny eye. Scarsgard. One of this, with his eye. I've got no clue. Uh, Tom Holland, Spider Man. Oh, do you know what? No. That would have, no, do you know what? I, I no. say, do you know what? That would have been really, really wrong. Why, Obviously, though. very sweet. He wouldn't have had that no, because intended. no, because don't no. forget. <laughs> one of Timothy's films last year or this year was Bones and All, which yeah. basically all about cannibalism. So he's got he's got the chops, you know, behind him to be able to do something a little bit more controversial. And so to do, to do this sweet movie makes it even more grounded. I think. So you're right. I think Tom Holland. But then you just come out of Wonka just. Desperate to see June two as well. Did you not just kind of just think it is? Yeah. He's just. I was. I, I was actually very concerned that Wonka was going to be rubbish and June two was going to be amazing. Yeah. And now I'm really excited about June two. Yeah, I, I kind of came up thinking actually I want to see him again. He yeah. is. He is actually brilliant. I've got to Isn't say. He? I mean, he absolutely fills. He's the really screen. grown on me. He's like the Harry Styles of acting. <laughs> yeah. Um, Timothy Chalamet actually got sick multiple times during production. Too much chocolate? Yeah, too much chocolate and candy. Seriously? Yeah, he had to eat so much. Well, well the other thing I was going to say was, oh, I don't, I don't want to piss on your parade and what you can do to make this film better. I, I could... I... Go on, you go for it. You've got, piss, you piss got to take chocolate with you. You have to take an absolute <laughs> hat full of snacks. Yeah. Because, honestly, it is just a constant reference to chocolate the whole way through and on it you just have to go for it i had to, i felt it was the opposite i felt like almost i didn't want to eat chocolate at the end of it oh, interesting isn't that weird um, what did you want to eat did you I want did to, you want to eat a snack of any particular i wanted to eat a snack that well we'll, we'll talk about snack next. we'll wait for the boss I've to ask about snacks more facts for you. Okay. Go on. so this is the uh, first instalment of the Roald Dahl Cinematic Universe, it's Ooh. unknown if the movie will be connected to Witches, which was in 2020. 
Ooh. Part of it is going to be a Roald Dahl cinematic universe. Well, as you do, half so as good Ro- as... Roald Dahl is also credited as one of the writers of this film, yeah. which I thought was quite a clever thing to well, do. Well, he technically is, isn't he? I mean, I guess so, but I mean... He, he wrote the story. Um, yeah. And uh, director Paul King actually cast uh, Timothy Chalamet based on his performance in the school project slash rap video Lil Timmy Tim Statistics. So mm. we're going to have to find that rap. We video. are going to. Well, have to that's find that's it. this week's homework. And that is all your could... facts. However, gents, yes. how would you make your scores better? I know exactly how I'd make my scores. Well, better. you you were busting to say this earlier. So tell us, how would you make this better? I would have. From Holland. I I would have. <laughs> I would have looked at the special effects a little bit more. Mm-hmm. I felt that ever so often the fourth wall was broken with the special effects not mm-hmm. just not working for me ever so often. The, 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 the flying suites ever so often didn't work for me. I love that you say that because I totally disagree with you. Yes. I, I thought that the CGI and mm. the special effects in this film... Yeah were an absolute nod to all of those historic films like Bed, Knobs and Broomsticks oh. that we mentioned before. When he swings round, yeah. when he flies round the lamppost... Oh, the, the swing and the and flying the la- is great. And the lamppost yeah. kind of sways, and you're just thinking, oh, that's an awful set. Exactly. It, it just, but I didn't it mind just, that. It just reminded it was, me of I, the... It was literally... When, there was part of it when, when there was chocolates flying around. I could I could feel I could almost feel the edge around the, the special... Around the green yeah, screen. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but I I thought that was done intentionally. Okay. I, I kind of felt it was. Yeah, I I, I kind of I thought like that was thinking, a nod to history. I like your thinking, but you, but I'm not wrong. The, the fact that you could you've obviously spotted something then. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. How would but, you make it better, Peter? I I think just this is what I, I think. It was, uh, yeah, I think that's okay. it. Just just take enough snacks. Okay. What snack did you have today? That day, well, James. I had a snack thrust in my hand when I sat down by Mr. Unger. You're welcome. And it was a snack. And it was it was almost to me it felt almost like a cross between a mince pie and Eccles cake Ooh. and um and crumble in a pie. It, it was it was a crumble top mince pie. There you go. Yeah. See eating in the dark. But you should which have I do got on a that. regular I mean, basis. That wasn't it wasn't a guess what the snack was. I mean it was just a mince pie with a crumbly it's top on it. Game he's playing. <laughs> I'm getting this thing all wrong. Did you, like, did you like it though? It was very tasty. It was did quite it make, light. Did you make your teeth hurt? No. Why would I make my teeth hurt? Because I, th- I had a bit of one and they were really sweet. I mean, like super duper sweet. But, okay. Yeah. No, it's fine. I, I, I had a, I had a bo- bottle of sparkling water with it. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. washing it down. I think that's their serving suggestion on the box. Was like, it? Yeah, to have with some sparkling, sparkling water. water. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, what day of the week would you recommend watching this? Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, we have actually had some reviews in from some of our wonderful listeners. Oh. Hi, listeners. Hey, hey. Thank you. Thanks for listening. They got in touch via the Popcorn Pundits Instagram page. And what did they uh, say? Leo Miles, he said he's given it an 8.5. Thanks, Leo. Uh, for the song Good and work, the Leo. mum thing. Right. Oh, it was a lovely oh, mum yeah. thing. yeah, there was a mum thing, wasn't it? was there? a lovely mum thing. <laughs> William gave we won't it talk about the mum thing. Though. Right. Uh, Flo gave it a seven. Nice. Ruby gave it an eight point five because of the draft. She loves yes, the draft. She does, Ruby. Yeah, looks long neck. Maisie gave it the best score. She gave it a nine. Mm. She doesn't know what she's talking about, Maisie. <laughs> Idiot. Harrison, however, gave it a six point five. That's a bit harsh, wasn't it? Do you know Harrison? No. Too cool for school, mate. Was he? Yeah, uh. that's it. He couldn't give it a nine. And we'll work on you next time, next time, Harrison. <laughs> and Cindy is on the same page as Peter. She gave it an eight, and she liked the golden ticket. Harrison, watch Swim Fan. <laughs> <laughs> Infinity Pool. <laughs> or men. <laughs> no, seriously, thank you, thank you for, for getting in contact with us. We are really encouraging you to, to get in contact with us as much as possible via our Instagram account, which is, Nikki? The Popcorn Pundits. Thank you very much. We're after as many comments as you can get. Send us pictures via WhatsApp. You've got Peter's and I telephone numbers. Yeah. And, and to be fair, if you if you send in comments or questions or hmm. any, or scores or anything now, we will definitely. Yeah, we'll you're very likely to get a mention at the moment. <laughs> Not necessarily in a good way, <laughs> <No>. though. <laughs> um, or film recommendations if they want to recommend any. That's a good idea. Yes, and they could obviously comment on our reviews whether they agree with us I or don't agree with us. I suggest they do that. <laughs> yeah, probably not. So that was. Wonka. Wonka. Wonka, yeah. Wonka, Wonka. This, week, this week's number one. So what are we going to see this weekend? Well, 
Oh, that's a very good question. We haven't even really thought about that. Oh, aren't we going to go and see... Um... Yes, we have, James. We've booked tickets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're going to go and see Ferrari. We're going to see Ferrari, yes. yes. A, a, a preview. With, 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 with an aptly named uh, star. Yes. Adam Driver. Yes. <laughs> I, actually knew, I actually knew that one. I did actually yeah, know that one. Joke with Harrison Ford. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be funny. Yes. Mini yeah. Driver. Yeah. yeah. Austin is Butler. Is there any actors called Reliant Robin? No. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> I've got Mini Driver, he though. Did, he didn't turn up. Mini Driver's going to be in it. <laughs> Three I'm going to say it again. Mini drivers. No, I'm not. It's not working, is it? No. Mini driver. No, we can edit this bit out. No, we, yeah. we, we get it. <laughs> okay. Do you right. like mini drivers? Don't know. <laughs> so we're going to go and see Ferrari on Monday, and we'll be reviewing that next week. Yeah, and I'm going to go and see the Hunger Games <laughs> <laughs> for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pete, you can do it. Love it. I do actually want to go and see it though. I do want to go and see it. So we'll be re- and if anybody's interested uh, and getting back to us, if they've seen a film for us, they can send us what their review. Yeah, absolutely. And um, if anyone can tell me where um, uh, Anatomy of a Fool is showing as well, I'd really, I'd great. still love to go and see that, mm. and, and can't get to see it anywhere. So. Yeah. And what was the other one with Nicolas Cage? Um, it was uh, something of a dream. I mean, your brain. Uh, yeah. Scenario of a dream. Yeah. Something like that. Anyway, that's that's been on nowhere. I mean, no. uh, yeah, there's. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so. I think we're getting on to our Christmas special. Yeah, here we go. Feature of the show. Yeah, absolutely. This is for you, that kid, kids. So we're basically just going to have a, a fist fight to work out. I'm so glad you said fight. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, what the best ever Christmas movie is. And we're, uh, and we're kind of hoping that this is going to, again, generate some audience participation. 100%. Yeah, so we're trying to work out the best way of, mm. of, of having... Uh, a competition between the three of us. We've mm-hmm. all picked a movie for this week, yes. and then we've got our second choices, also another choice yes. next week. And then in the show, which we're going to do between Christmas and New Year, we're going to announce the winner. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then, in the, then close to New Year, we're going to do a best film of the year. Yes, absolutely okay. right. So let's concentrate. Let's concentrate on our favourite Christmas movies. We're going to choose one each now. So are we going to do a cla- so we've, are we going to do a classic one or are we going to do a modern one? Well, I've just chosen. I've, I've just brought one with me today. And is it classic or modern? Uh, it's a modern. So let's let's, let's keep it classic. Modern. Let's keep it modern. Okay. You were going to say let's keep it classic. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, Peter. Can't talk to that's it. Stuff you, Pete. You lose. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that. Elf was eliminated. Exactly. <laughs> so would you like to choose your favourite classic Christmas movie, movie Mr. No, Peter Unger? No, modern Christmas Modern movie. one. I yes. can tell you what my classic is <laughs> as no, well. No, no, like. you, what's your modern one? What's your modern? My modern one is Elf. Yeah. Okay, that's still... Cl- yeah, what year was that? Yep. 1994? No, is that 2002 or something? No. I don't know. Hang hmm. on, isn't it on the top ten because it's the 20-year anniversary? Yeah, probably. Just a few pages, eh? So yeah, so that means it would be two thousand, yeah, two thousand three, two thousand four. Yeah, okay. That's 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 relevant, I'd say. I think Compa- so. Comparison with it's a good one. Yeah, but I know what your recent one is, and yeah, but you're not going to win, are you? Oh, I don't know about that. What's your recent one, James? My recent one is <laughs> Violence Night <laughs> with David Harbour. Excellent. Yes. And then Nikki, what's yours? Uh, mine is from the year two thousand, mm-hmm. and it is How the Grinch Stole Christmas, mm-hmm. which is the Jim Carrey one. Oh, it's just. Brilliant, absolutely love So, it. Peter, why is um, was Elf the best Christmas movie of all time? Buddy the Elf, what's your favourite colour? It just has the best I know sound him. bite. Oh, my God, I know him. The whole way through the film. Did you hear that? Best copy, congratulations. <laughs> I win, don't I? Just seriously, it is sound bite after sound bite after sound bite. And the slightly inappropriate of singing Baby It's Cold Outside when... Yes. <laughs> so Deschamel is like in the shower naked, and he yes. sat next to her, just like singing along. It is just, oh, I just, I just absolutely love it from the literally the first second, the whole when way he's through. Going up the um, escalator, and he puts oh, one foot one on foot and up. Just... Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. My just... favorite bit is the animation at the start. Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. So, so weird. Thank you, Mr. Narwhal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> Good luck, buddy. The way over the. <laughs> Just wrong on so many uh, levels. So we're so we're looking at um, it's it's Will it's Will Farrell. Yes. 
uh, with James Khan. Yeah, absolutely, playing his dad. And apparently James Khan really did get annoyed with him during the filming. I'm not surprised he's and really annoying. Will he did Farrow, get that gift, gift for someone special, though. I mean, yeah, he should have been happy with that, shouldn't I he? I think so, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it, you're right. It is, it, is, it is one of those movies that definitely starts Christmas off. It's one of those movies that definitely has a, a classic sort of feel to it. And it's, it is very, and, and, and it has that sort of, there's, there's, there's humour for adults, there's humour for children and people in between. Isn't Absolutely, it? and you start your Christmas movie watching with Elf, don't Absolutely, you? Absolutely, That is yes. the first one that you watch. Does Love Actually? It's, it's, it's either the first or last. Oh, no, sorry, it's the second one yes. that you watch, because The Nightmare Before Christmas is the bridge between That's Halloween. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm learning it's, your, your rules, Christmas watching. But rules. when we talk about pure Christmas classics, Elf starts your Christmas watching, mm-hmm. and it, and it, Bookends mine on the other end. Yes. It is my twenty fourth of December. Well, that's must, what we're doing this must year. Must go to movie. Our first one was Violent Night this year. Was it? Yes, we haven't watched Elf yet this year yet. We're going to leave it until Christmas Eve. Excellent. So you listen to my recommendation. Well, we're holding back. <laughs> we may not watch it at all. Nave recommended it. But um, this is another John Favreau film, and what I've learned mm. from doing this podcast with you, James, yes. is that I'm actually slightly in love with John Favreau and He's everything that he does. Isn't he? Because everything I recommend. Men or choose has got him in it, or he's done it, or produced it, or directed it. Well, the restraining orders in the post. Well, can I just, just let, let me just throw one back at you, okay? Because um, <laughs> one of John's mates is in uh, Violent Night. I don't care. And it is the the, the Latino actor oh, is from it? Um, Chef. Mm-hmm. He is actually the baddie ah. in Violent Night, mm-hmm. and it's all right. You win. <laughs> So if you haven't seen Violent Night, let me give you... Because it's obviously it's not as classic as Elf is. So Violent Night is basically the synopsis. David... Is, is it Harbour or Harper? No, Harbour, isn't it? Be Harbour. It. Yeah, Harbour. David Harbour plays Santa Claus. He is, mm-hmm. he is Father Christmas. He's not going through a good time. It's Christmas Eve. He's decided that it's not working for him after all this time. <laughs> and he's become quite sort of um, disheartened with modern technology, children just wanting money... Uh, the internet and all those different bits and bobs, and he's and he's and he's starting to the question: Why did he start this in the first place? Right, see? and he gets rather drunk, but he can handle the drink because he's Father Christmas, you see. And then he comes across a family, and uh, this family are super rich. They're very, very sort of commercially based. They're all about consumerism, and they're not very nice people at all. Father Christmas turns up. He's about to start uh, delivering the presents. And then John, how do you pronounce that name? Yeah. Yeah, him. The, the, the Latino actor. He turns up with a group of naughty people to raid the house, kidnap the people, blah, blah, blah. And, and to Father Christmas. Are you Christ- sure this isn't Home Alone? Yeah, and Father Christmas <laughs> basically saves the day, but in a really violent way. Beautiful. I mean, proper violent way. Okay, what's the best, best violent act? The best violent act is... <laughs> the best violent act All the way through the movie, Father Christmas is sucking on a candy cane, okay? Yeah. You know, with the, with the loop type thing. Yeah. And at one point, one of the baddies comes for him, and he's been sucking on his candy cane all the way through the movie. Yeah. And of course, when you suck on a candy cane, it gets quite sharp. <laughs> and he stabs the baddie in the eye, with, through the head, with a candy cane. Best death ever, as far as I'm concerned. And there's, there's another thing with the, with the, with the, um, with the grenade, which I won't go into details. Nikki and Mickey. Yes. What's your favourite modern day? Just quickly, yes. I believe it's pronounced John Leg with Zamo. Nice. And he is in Ice Age. He does the voice for one of the characters in Ice Age. Is he? Yeah. Do you want to have another go at that pronunciation? <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get at least I can pronounce the popcorn pundits. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> um, so, Elf on IMDb has got a 7.1 out of 10 rating. Right. 7.1? Yeah. Oh, you'd think it'd get close um, to 8, wouldn't yeah. you? Violent Night has got 9 point... No, I'm joking. 6.7. <laughs> 7 out of 10. Yeah. I was about to storm out horrified yeah. then. Yeah. I'm Gary. I don't believe in the field of the tree anymore now. But I'm never going to watch a film ever again. Talking of storming out, my film is the wonderful green man who lives above Whoville. And he is the Grinch who stole Christmas. So it's on the outskirts of Pooville and he's a revenge-seeking Grinch who plans to ruin Christmas for all the citizens of the town. Right, we know the story. Why do you love it? Yeah. It's, 
hilarious. Yeah. I love, he's like me, he's got the little relationship he has with the dog, like he doesn't care about people. Yeah. He just loves the animals. Right. And then in the end, he, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen it, he turns out to be the good guy. Does he? He saves Christmas. I don't think I've ever actually seen this movie. What? He's so funny, and Jim Carrey is so funny as well. I find Jim Carrey to be a genius. Or not. <laughs> By doing the same thing? Yes, over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah. but in different costumes. Yeah. Same facial expressions. Oh, absolutely, 100%. But yeah, but that's... that's... Yeah, but he's green in this. Oh, that makes all the difference. It does. So, so are your trousers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm very grinched mm. up today. Yeah, you came 50% grinched up. 50%. And what mark has uh, the Grinch got on I N I in Yeah, that one. <laughs> on, sorry, would you like to pronounce that? I am B D. I am DB? I'm DB. Yeah, it's yes. International Movie Database. Is that what it sounds for? Isn't it Internet Movie Database? Oh, is it? I don't know. Oh. Ooh, well, sorry, but, but it does help us put the IDB into a particular order. Yeah, so it's, yeah. I believe it's Internet Movie Database. Okay, so. Uh, it's got, it's very close to your film. Six. Yep. Point. Two. Three. So lower than mine. It's lower than mine. <laughs> lower than mine. Well, I think the trouble is, because it is Jim Carrey, there are a certain number of people who are going to really dislike it because yeah. they don't like Jim Carrey. Yeah. Even if his heart is two sizes too small or whatever the yeah the sound bite is, oh, but it's yeah. um, but yeah, but um, yeah, are you, if you're a Jim Carrey fan, you're going to love it. And if you hate him, you're going to hate it. I don't know though. I disagree because I know someone who doesn't like Jim Carrey but actually really enjoys the Grinch. I think you're making that person up. <laughs> <laughs> But again, it's another film which has uh, a little bit of song and songage in it, yes. and but not too much, which I always think is pretty good. I've never seen a holiday either. Shut up! Uh, you have never seen the holiday. Never, there, never seen a holiday. Maybe. Have you not? Yeah. You is that should, weird? You so should the watch the holiday. Is Isn't that weird? <laughs> you, you're a you're a fan of tailoring and fabrics. I know. If you ever wanted to see how cashmere should be worn, oh, I've heard it's demonstrated in the holiday. I've heard, yeah, and also the beach. They, they don't wear I've never seen cashmere. the beach either. Alex Garland, you haven't I... seen the beach? It's really good. Oh, no. Sorry, it's really good. It. <gasps> I'm really weird about certain movies that everybody goes, you must go and see this. And I just go, mm. now everybody's telling me to watch it. So it, the, the beach is, is, oh, no. is a real Leonardo rarity. Caprio. It's a real rarity because oh, the movie see. is ten times better than the book. The book is horseshit. Is it? And the film is absolutely brilliant. It. And you remember what I was talking oh, about? Yes. Um, you remember what I was talking about with, with men? Mm. And I was talking about the fact that he... The pace he, of it. No, no, none of that. His visualisation oh, of, yes. of mental status mm. is absolutely genius in okay. this. So, stoned off his nut, right. um, Leonardo DiCaprio runs through a rainforest, basically, and it turns into like a, a Donkey Kong type like computer game. Does it? And you, it is absolutely... Absolutely genius. I'm definitely like, going to watch it now. Like literally with theme Nobody's tune. Nobody's told me that bit before. Ding, 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 like going running. It's honestly, it's absolutely genius. That's the reason why we need to do the popcorn pundit because people don't know about stuff. Well, like you've that. just learned, but you've just learned about a film that you need to now see. Exactly. And we never ever need to see The Grinch. No. Take it down. <laughs> So there we have it. So, so how, how are we, how are we gonna uh, how are we gonna make this decision? I think this has to go out to general public. I think you're right. It does, but we don't forget we also have our three next week. So are we gonna compare them to next week's ones and then all the scores, or are we just gonna have? I think we're gonna have a we're gonna have a we're gonna have a winner of each round okay, so and then a grand final. So we're asking people to head over to the Popcorn Pundit's Instagram. Yeah, and D and slide into our DMs. They can slide, however they they can skip, they can jump. Okay. Uh, into our DMs or just comment on a post that will go up. Hopscotch into our DMs and yeah. leave us, leave Hopscotch. us your opinion Absolutely. as to which is the greatest of these three movies. Yes. Yeah. Which is Violent Night. Yes. The Elf. Yes. The uh, Elf. The Elf. Just the Elf. Which, yeah, thanks. And, <laughs> and the Grinch, and how the Grinch stole Christmas. There we go. There you and go. no, James, you can't pay people to vote for your one. Mm. <laughs> With what? <laughs> Christmas jewelry. So next week yes. will be the Hunger Games that Peter has seen. Yep. Ferrari. Yes. And then the classic Christmas film as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Brilliant. So we've got a double special of the Christmas mm. popcorn pundit. And we've given, and so for those people out there who haven't seen Wonka yet, we have given it 8.1. Go and see the movie. And Absolutely. let us know your scores. 
Do we want to talk about the fact that we um, we had a, a wonderful Christmas party last week? And what, what it was in aid of and everything. We could do, couldn't we? That'd I be think, nice. I think we should do. Yes, exactly. So last Friday we had a little soiree. We did. And the three of us went along and we invited some lovely people. We went to where? Us. Little soiree. <laughs> and little soiree. Little soiree. We invited some lovely people to join us. We had Father Christmas come and join us. We did. And we he had, had a car- great time. He had a fantastic time. I, mean, I think we had, had a bit carol too singers. much of a good time considering he has quite a lot of work to do this week. Well, he's got a week. He's fine. <laughs> we had carol singers. We had bricks. We had all sorts of wonderful things going on. And we raised a lot of money for charity. We did we? indeed. We raised money for the fantastic charity Food Chef. Yeah. And also for Marlow FM, our local community radio station. Yeah, absolutely. So they're building a new studio, aren't they, in, mm. in Great Marlow School? Yeah. And, um, and we were buying bricks and putting... Encouraging people to support graffiti. our local community <laughs> radio station, metaphorically and physically. Fantastic. Did I ever do that? It's beautiful. Yeah, exactly. A beautiful thing. But it was, it was a brilliant, brilliant evening. Thank you, we'll, very, much, thank you very much for all that. Absolute yeah. pleasure. We, we will put the link on how to buy a brick from Milo FM on our Instagram account as well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, and we, any... we will talk more <clears throat> about, so. about raising money for, really good, so. for our, for our favourite really good I charities, so. especially on the run-up to Christmas, because yeah. it is a really, really special, a really special charity. Absolutely. absolutely. So, shall we finish the show? We should. Let's finish the show. Are you ready? Ho, 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 